Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. We are doing a planty unboxing in my pajamas because you know what? I just wanted to wear my pajamas today. We're not professional here, so we're just gonna have like a nice cozy little time. I have my coffee here and I just received plant mail. So we're gonna be unboxing, oh, that's the wrong side. Ta-da! From one of my all-time favorite plant shops, Plant Haven Toronto. If you've been on my channel, you've probably seen me do a million unboxings from them, and here we are, doing another one. Also, I just want to quickly say thank you so much for allowing me to have a break over the past week. I have not been uploading, I haven't even been filming or editing or anything. I just truly needed to unplug and try to recharge a little bit. Um, it actually wasn't the best week. Some, a lot of things just didn't go as planned, but there were highlights in there and there was a lot of reflection and um, you know some moments of restoration as well, which was really nice. But yeah, I'm back. And I thought that this would be the perfect video to kind of ease me back into posting. So I hope that you are ready to see some cool plants. I kind of forget what I ordered actually. So I'm excited to crack into here. I remember a couple of things, but Plant Haven Toronto is currently having a 20% off, um, I think site wide, like 20% off of everything. So I decided that winter's coming. I want to sneak in a couple of cheeky plant orders before the end of the shipping season, even though places ship in the winter. I'm just, this is me justifying to myself buying plants because I do have, um, I placed another order um, somewhere else and then I think I have another package of plants that is being sent to me So there's gonna be unboxings. There's gonna be a lot of unboxings upcoming I'm just making excuses for myself But yeah, I was just very tempted by this sale and wanted to stock up on a few plants So that's what I did excited to share them with you But yes, Plant Haven Toronto is having their 20% off sale and I think it's still going for Another few days after I post this video. So I'll link them down below in the description box the sale can be stacked with my discount code, which is FERN2023. So you can get a total of 35% off, which is pretty darn good. So let me know if you get anything. I'm always so interested in what other people order. Ooh, I just remembered another plant that's in here. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so I'm just gonna open this up. I don't know where my, um, where my box cutter is right now. It's escaped me. So I'm just gonna be cutting this open with a knife carefully. This was shipped yesterday and then arrived this morning. So their shipping is so freaking fast. So these plants should be just fine, I'm sure. Ooh, it looks like we have some nice winter, winterized shipping happening. You can see that little, this thing that keeps the heat in. Insulation, that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, oh my goodness. Just gonna remove some of the paper. Okay, actually the, the names are written on them and I kind of want to surprise y'all as I pull them out. So I'm not gonna show you too much, but the plants are all beautifully wrapped as per usual. I'm excited, I've been feeling, I don't know, I've just been having a tough couple of weeks and feeling really overwhelmed and feeling a little bit uh, just a little bit down, I guess. That's probably another reason that I ordered plants, just to cheer me up a little bit. They send a little care sheet when you order. Okay. Did I order six? Or did they put a... I thought I only ordered five. Wait! One, two, three, four, five, six. There's literally seven plants in here, and I'm pretty sure I only ordered five. Which means that they have thrown in a couple of extras, which is so nice. Okay, I think that this is almost all Hoya, so my Hoya people will appreciate this video. Four out of five of the plants that I picked were Hoya, and I think that the extras that they threw in are also Hoya, so we're gonna be seeing a lot of Hoya in this unboxing. I'm just gonna pull them out. This is actually an extra. I guess we'll start with this one. I have no idea what this Hoya looks like. So let's take a peek. Hoya are just so easy to collect because you usually buy them quite small. They don't take up as much space as something like a philodendron or a monstera. Um, you can hang them, like trail them, or you can trellis them. There's just kind of more options of um, 
like where you can put them and how you can grow them. And also I'm obsessed with blooms, plants that bloom, um, and especially Hoya blooms. So, oh my goodness. What in the heck is this? This is bizarre. This is not what I was expecting. I, what? This is so weird. This is like the philodendron tortum of the Hoya world. Can you guys see this? This is the daintiest Hoya, at least I'm assuming it's a Hoya. Okay, so it says that this is Hoya stenophylla, stenophylla. Oh, I'll put the, I'll put the names on the screen. I don't need to show you the package, but what the heck? This is so unique. I was not expecting this at all. What the heck? Wow, this is so neat. Imagine a full pot of this. How freaking cool would that look? Okay, I need to look up some photos. <gasps> what? How have I never seen this before? This is so cool. And it looks like they do the cute, dainty individual blooms, um, similar to the Hoya Rutusa. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. It honestly reminds me of Philodendron Tortum so much. <laughs> like what? This is so neat. This is just so cool. I'm so thankful that they sent this to me. Whenever they pick out plants for me, they always nail it because they know I like kind of like weird quirky plants. So yeah, this is really, really up my street. Okay, I'm just gonna pull them out randomly. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this is one that I'm really excited about. Okay, so I ordered this one. Um, I'll open it up for you guys. This is what the little package looks like. Wait, what am I opening again? I totally forget. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember, I remember. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> What? This one is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm so glad that I picked this up. What the heck? Okay, so this is a Hoya that I actually just recently learned about because somebody that I follow on Instagram, um, I think her name's Melissa. Her Instagram handle is my plant haven with underscores, I think. I'll put it on the screen. She always shares the most beautiful plant photos and reels. And she also loves Plant Haven Toronto and orders from them all the time. She recently got this one from them. And when I saw her posting about it, I was like, I need to order that the next time that I pick up plants from Plant Haven Toronto because it's just so beautiful. I love the dark green, the little splashiness, and the elongated leaf. Like everything about this is so pretty. And this is called, it has kind of a weird name. I know there's numbers. Okay, Hoya UT001 Sumatra. It's just so pretty. I love this so much. And this is way bigger than I was expecting. I thought I was just gonna get a few leaves. So I am super, super impressed by this. Like how gorgeous is that? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to pick out a really nice pot for this one. It's just so pretty. I love it. <laughs> Y'all will have to let me know which plant is your favorite out of this box. I would love to know, but yeah, I'm really excited about this one. No idea what the blooms look like. I didn't have many Hoya bloom this year. I'm kind of disappointed. I don't know what, what I'm missing in my Hoya care. Like, I feel like my Hoya do really well, but not a lot of them bloom for me, to be honest with you. Like, I definitely get more leaf growth than blooms. So I am going to try to um, figure out ways to try to promote blooming in my Hoya because, yeah, I need more Hoya blooms in my life for sure. But yeah, Hoya UT001 Sumatra. And it is absolutely stunning, the second plant. 
Okay, so this next Hoya I've been wanting for quite some time, um, specifically because of the blooms, like pretty much only because of the blooms. As soon as I saw the blooms, I put this Hoya on my wish list, and I saw that somewhere I had it in stock, but there wasn't really anything else that I wanted on their website, and I didn't want to place an order and have to pay for shipping and everything. Um, shipping plants in Canada is very expensive, by the way. <laughs> so I didn't want to have to pay for shipping just for the one plant. Um, so when I saw Plant Haven Toronto start stocking this one, I was really just like keeping that in the back of my mind for when I placed an order with them um, because it has these beautiful pink blooms and apparently it's pretty easy to get bloom. I mean, that's what I've read. Hopefully it's true. Who knows? You can let me know if you have this plant, but I am very, very into pink Hoya blooms. So I'm really wanting to collect more Hoya that, you know, have that color of bloom. And this is one of them. So let's open her up. Hey, are you ready? Oh my gosh, it has way more leaves than I was expecting. <laughs> oh my gosh, all these plants are huge. What the heck? Maybe because it's the end of season, so everything's been growing all year. <gasps> it's such a little cutie pie. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so sweet. I've never seen one in person before, even though I've been wanting one for, for a while. This is so cute. Okay, so this is Hoya Cam Camphorifolia, I think. Hoya Camphorifolia. Like I said, this has been on my wish list for a little while now, and I don't really see anyone else talk about it. I think I was browsing a plant shop website one day, and I saw they had a picture of the blooms. So yeah, I came, I came across it online that way, but when it comes to people that I follow and stuff, I don't really see anyone talking about this so if you have one let me know i think i'm probably gonna trellis this and try to take really good care of it so that it blooms for me but yeah it does i mean the leaves are cute like you know i said i bought this for the blooms but the leaves are still cute like they look really nice it's really thin like a really thin leaf toya which i'm kind of surprised by i did not expect that i kind of thought it was going to be a thick leaf toya so that's interesting but yeah, so cute and so lush, my goodness. I was not expecting that. But yeah, that's cool. I'm glad that I've crossed this off my list. Okay, let's take a little Hoya break and open the one that is not a Hoya. So this is actually a plant that I had and it gave my entire, not entire, that's dramatic. It caused a thrip outbreak in my plant collection. Um, and which has been resolved, thankfully, at least as far as I know, it's been resolved, but, um, the plant was just covered in thrips. I was isolating it. I was treating it for honestly months and the thrips were still there. So I just decided to compost it. I could not deal with that anymore. So I saw the plant Haven Toronto had this plant and I was like, okay, I'm going to order it from them because you know, I'm just going to start over from, with a plant from like a trusted retailer, you know? So yes new beginnings with this plant i really love it though and i really want it in my collection so of course i had to replace it oh my gosh this is so much nicer than the one that i had anyways this is so much nicer like the coloring is way nicer on this one. Oh my goodness okay so this is syngonium milk confetti it's a beautiful like minty green and then it has pink spots on it oh my goodness it's so cute i'm so happy to have a nice healthy version of this plant look at how pretty it is like are you kidding me this is just so so cute oh i love it i'm gonna have so much fun growing this I'm really wanting to collect just a couple more Syngonium Podophyllum varieties because my Syngonium Albo has just brought me so much joy. It's been so easy going. It's so beautiful. Um, truly like an underappreciated plant, I feel, in the plant community. So I really want to just add a couple more varieties to my collection. Um, and yeah, I'm sure that they'll bring me just as much joy. But yeah, what a unique one. Ugh. Okay, we have three more Hoya to go. This is one that I've also been wanting because of the blooms. 
and this is a common one i see a lot of people grow it and i've seen a lot of people being able to i've seen a lot of people being able to get blooms on there so i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it we'll see how it goes ready oh my gosh this is so cute okay i like this even more than i was expecting honestly what the heck this is stinking adorable my coffee machine's doing something this is so so cute though i love the venation on this how pretty is that and again it just looks so healthy this is a thicker leaf um, I was expecting this one to be thicker, and it feels like it definitely is. But oh my gosh, what a stinking cutie! I really like this one. I really like this one. I don't know why I was kind of prepared to be underwhelmed by this. Um, but no, it is just so, so cute. So I'm probably going to put this on a trellis as well. I don't know. I'll have to decide. But yeah, I really want to get blooms on this. Again, let me know if you have any of these. Let me know any care tips. Also, let me know if you have any of these, if you've been able to get them to bloom. Like if you find them to be easy bloomers or not, I would love to hear. Oh, there's even a baby leaf coming in right there at the top. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Yeah, love this one. Okay, next one. Oh, this is the most i don't know probably the one that people will get the most excited about it's like a it's being posted everywhere right now and i resisted the urge to buy this actually at first i didn't even want it i was like no that's not necessary but now that i've seen it so much it's really grown on me and i'm a little bit obsessed so the prices have come down a lot on this plant too so i am glad that i waited but yeah i'm excited oh my goodness okay Let's see, let's see what it... Oh my gosh. This is the cutest little, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. So this is Hoya Polyneura Outer Variegated and it is stunning. Okay, I understand the hype. I understand the hype oh my goodness okay yeah this is very very pretty i love my hoya polyneura just the regular green one so much i've had it for a long time it's one of those og plants that i'm always going to keep in my collection and it is sentimental to me because it was just it reminds me of when i was first getting into plants and that was a major wishlist plant for me and i was so excited when i got it i still love that plant to this day and I wasn't really crazy about the variegated one when it first came out because I was just so content with my green one. But like, why not both? <laughs> like, look at how cute this is. I'm so excited to grow this out, you guys. I think I'm gonna grow this in my Mills Bow Tall for a while and hopefully it'll kind of like cascade down once it starts growing. The little new baby leaves that are coming in, like, wow. They are so cutie. I'm really, really excited to grow this. It kind of reminds me of a combination of my Hoya Polyneura, which I love, and my Hoya Crimson Queen, which y'all know that I love. I have a really big Crimson Queen, which is one of my favorite plants. So this has like the same variegation as that. So what's not to love, right? My goodness, the Hoya collection is really growing, you guys. All right, it's the last one. And this is another one that they have thrown in here for me. Um, which is just so so nice of them. I have no idea what this looks like honestly. I know I've heard of this one I think. Let's take a peek. Okay ready? Let's reveal her. Oh my goodness this is so full. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's so many vines coming out of here and crazy aerial roots. Holy smokes. This is so cutie. This kind of reminds me of my Thai pink lipstick plant, actually. It's the same like size of leaves. This is Hoya Mini Pixie, and I've heard of Hoya Mini Bell, so I don't know if this is has like some of the same parentage or something. I should check it out. Oh my gosh, there's not very many posts about it. 
Oh, it has the cutie little orange blooms. The blooms kind of look similar to my Williniana UT152. Okay, yeah, little cutie, small leafed Hoya. Looks like it puts out cute little small blooms as well. And from my little quick scroll just now, people seem to be saying that they bloom fairly easily, especially in the spring. So hopefully I'll get some blooms out of this because y'all know I'm bloom obsessed, okay? I need the blooms, I need the blooms. But yeah, what a little cutie. I wanna get a, oh, actually I have an idea for the pot that I might put this in stay tuned <laughs> but yeah this is adorable and again just so nice of them to add that into my box all right i guess that brings us to the end of this video i need to go clean up this mess now i have all of the packaging in front of me which i go through everything and i save everything for when i do um plant trades and stuff which i definitely recommend if you order plant mail save everything save the box save the paper save the especially this like fluffy stuff because if you ever do a plant trade or if you ever need to mail plants for whatever reason um it comes in super super handy you already have all the supplies that you need i hope that y'all enjoyed this unboxing like i said there's gonna be a couple more to come i'm excited to get these plants all settled in i'm sure that they're gonna do amazing all literally i think every single plant i've ever gotten from plant haven toronto has settled in beautifully and grown beautifully for me so leave me a comment down below i would love to chat with you i'm so excited and happy to be back posting for you guys so yeah i'm gonna try to find my find my little routine again anyways that's it thank you so so much for joining me and for watching to the end you're the best give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you the next one okay bye